don't look like anything when they're little. Yeah. Um, I think they're getting more popular. I'm selling a lot more of them now in the shop. Yeah. Um, but they, they just look transparent when they're little. But within about a month, two months, that orange starts coming on. I picked him up from Wolf the other day. Oh, he's well cool, isn't he? Yeah, Wolf, I've had him for a few months. He eats anything pellets, flake, ground for quite a bit. And I, I put that one in and instantly, mate, it's like a different fish. Yeah, yeah. Like dead happy that there's another one in there. Yeah, they're, they're really interactive, aren't they? they? They've got such a per- What is going on, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. So, we've just filmed Spud's shop, and now we are at his house, and he's got some crazy tanks in here. So, let's go and have a look. Right, Spud, where should we start, mate? Should we start with the smaller tank? Yeah, I'll start with the small one if you want, mate. Yeah. So, what have we got going on here, then, mate? Uh, it's only just, a, it's just an 100 litre tank. Um, had it spare upstairs. I thought I'd do a little bit of breeding, so I just got the pair of carp into seeing them in a doing a front maiden at them. Yeah. Um, and he picked them up at a tenner apiece. And I've seen them it. both breeding in the tank, so I picked them both up. Three weeks later they got fried, they got the fried at the back of the tank. Yeah. The uh red eye taps are just a diver fish in there really. They chase them now they got fried, but they generally leave them alone. Hmm. I mean the tank looks minging but they, they feed off the algae, so I've just left the the algae in there, just do the front front glass, do water changes. Yeah, it looks really effective though, doesn't it? Like, yeah. Looks like a like a box, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just more natural. It's like a green box, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, yeah just um just thought I'd give it a little dabble because I can take them back to the shop and sell them and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh I just love breeding fish, mate. It's there's something about it in there where when you start looking after their own and that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's your creation, isn't it? You've yeah, done of it, course isn't it? Is, yeah. You've put you're putting them in that box of water, aren't you? Yeah, so, of course, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just had it on the side, I had a little, little space there, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going just gonna to pick him up and uh, try with him. Yeah. Well, I mean, Central there can breed straight away anyway, it's not like you have any issues breeding him. No. If you get a, a proven pair, mate, it's pretty much straight away. But the mm. colours on, they're only juvenile, them car princess, but when they get bigger, they're, fan, they're fantastic looking fish, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, it's well nice. Lovely little tank, man. Yeah. Nice how it's all in the kitchen here as well, you sort of sit here, can't yeah, you? Yeah, just... I mean, the missus is she's all right with it because she didn't really have a choice to be fair when she started going out. <laughs> yeah. And while they're on the shop and he's dead into keeping fish, but she loves it as well to be fair. Yeah. Um, but yeah, try and keep it, try and keep it tidy in the house because I'm messy when I work. Pipes and pieces of wood and sand and all over the floor. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, it looks clean, tidy anyway. Right? Yeah. Just do what do try and do once a week or twice a week water changes if I can. Um, just keep the water clean. But my water's terrible, mate. It's like the acidic, it's so acidic. It comes really? out of the tap. But for the seven, right. for half an hour it drops to four. Wow, it's man. It's got no general hardness in it. We're the other end, mate, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard like to in it, yeah. But it's, um, so we use, so inside the filters I use a crushed oyster shell. Um, yeah. And you've got to do it. It's one of the main things I sell them at a shop for, for people setting up tanks. Because the pH just swings like mad. Yeah. It's made, the fish don't really get bothered by it, but it's, um, it's mainly for the bacteria. Yeah, yeah. If your bacteria starts dropping off and swinging, if your pH is sort of under 6.6 six and your general hardness isn't there, your nitrogen bacteria can't live properly, yeah. so it just swings like mad. Yeah, and they hate all fluctuations, don't yeah, they? Yeah, so I just try and keep it stable with it, so. Mm. Um, we just we just put a little bit in each tank and it just sorts it out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I do water changes twice a week. Just straight tap water, I don't use any RO water. No. Um, just getting used to the tap water. That's it, that's it. And what size tank is this then? Uh, just standard 6x2x2. By two by two. Yeah. I picked this up, I wasn't even going to pick this one up, but I had, um, there was a, a lady who was selling it and I, she offered, I only offered her 100, 100 quid for it, she said 150 quid, so I thought, you know what, I'll get a van and a couple of lads and we just picked it up. Cheap tank, mate. Yeah, it's got one, it had one little, one little scuff there. Yeah. Where did it up and just got it looking, got it looking new again, so I got the, one of the lads who I know to do um, pallets on the doors. Yeah, yeah, it's effective, aren't it? Spent a couple hundred quid on wood for it. Um, yeah. Got the got the plants going out the top of it, just a bit more of a jungle effect in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, put the grid in across just so I can cable tie the plants to it, and then just set them in. But like I say, water changes in this, I don't even need to do them. Um, no. I just do it to grow the fish up a little bit, put new minerals in the water. Um, and then yeah, stockwise in there, mate. These uh, seven albino uh, hecali. Yeah, they're stunning fish in there, look at it. Fantastic. They don't look like anything when they're little. Yeah. Um, I think they're getting more popular. I'm selling a lot more of them now in the shop. Yeah. Um, but they, they just look transparent when they're little. But within about a month, two months, that orange starts coming on in. Yeah. Um, but they're beautiful looking fish. But these uh, three breeding pairs in there. Uh, the two lots of discus, that's a, a red pigeon panda, that's a male on the top. 
and then the um, one underneath, I get a bit lost with the names of the discus, is that many? But yeah, the blue underneath is a female. But they, they lay eggs probably twice a month. Do they, yeah? You get them to wriggle, isn't they? And I mean, they've got all the datanoids, they keep them all away. The yeah. There's 30 datanoids in there. Yeah, I know, I can see that. Lovely, yeah. isn't they? Yeah, they're all Indo dats. I had, a, I had a group of 100 of them I bought in bulk, and um, I grew from little. Then I had a bit of a wipeout for some reason. I don't know why, I just lost a few of them. And then I had uh, that mini marble that's in the shop. She uh, decided she liked the taste of them, so she ate a few more. Oh, no. Was she in here, was she then? Yeah, yeah she was yeah. in here. Yeah, I had a load of stuff that I just sold a load of stuff out of this tank, so I just minimalised it. Um, but yeah, so I've just kept them. So I'm going to keep sort of 10 or 12 for myself. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to sell a few on. These, yeah. Uh, the African arowana in the corner there. I picked him up from Wolf the other day. Oh, he's well cool, isn't he? Yeah, Wolf, I've had him for a few months. He eats anything, pellets, flakes. It's dead healthy, mate. So you struggle nice. with them as well when they're um, when they're little. Yeah. So I want one of a bit of bigger size. Yeah, he's um, safer, isn't he? Oh, mate, as soon as I put it in, it started hammering food. And they just filter feed. They're just big, gentle giants, so they don't go for any of the smaller fish. Yeah, it's strange, aren't it? Yeah, it's really you put an agent weird. in there? Oh, no, 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 yeah, everything, yeah. yeah. It's the only thing I like the data noise, but it's, it's, it's made me have to stop buying fish, because I usually grow fish on to put in a bigger tank, but I can't put them in because they grow so slow. Yeah, that's so slow, mate. They're what, so, the what? amount of food that they get is just insane, but... I had two of them and I had the other one you got out there. Yeah. And I had them for about three years and then they got to a little bit bigger than yeah, that yeah, discus. Yeah, yeah. Maybe a bit bigger. Yeah. yeah. Like quite quite a nice size, but that was good yeah. three years they of take, feeding. They take whatever. ages. When I, I mean when these when these were little, I got them frozen after two days, which I was buzzing about. Yeah. Um but I got uh they were probably on I get the slices of mice and brown trim and they're probably on two two, three slices a week. Yeah. Like the, like the half kg slices. Then about four or five times a day I was feeding them just to bulk them up. Yeah. A few of them have still put some size on now, which I'm happy with, but... Because I keep saying to my customers, oh, I'll sell you some of them when they're a bit bigger, but they're taking so long to grow, I'm just going to keep them, mate. Yeah. Just, just sit, get, the, get the nicest ten out, keep them for myself. Yeah, and the others put in the shop, mate. Yeah, of course. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah. Mate, once they get to a nice sort of size in the shop, they're flying. Oh, mate, yeah. And they're I've got some in, I've got some in the shop. I've got, I've got some, in the, some little ones in the shop yeah, from the same supplier, yeah. I see them, yeah, yeah. And uh, I just thought, do you know what, I'm going to get some that are a little bit bigger just to help out. Yeah. Uh, there's also some placos in here. I've got, uh, there's a sunshine in the in the back left corner. Yeah. Uh, I've got a vampire. Uh, I've got, I think it's either a scarlet or a, or a cactus. And they had um, these, uh, I think there's just a little gold nugget in there as well. Okay. There's some cloud loads in the tubes as well. Yeah, they're great at cleaning up, aren't they? Oh, mate, yeah, put them in just the clean up room. Yeah, they keep the sand pristine, don't they? Yeah, and I've got, uh, there's also in here, I've got uh, two freshwater more eels as well. I've put some food in, mate, I'll get okay. them out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you're running on FX, two FX6, aren't you? Yeah, so I've got, um, so uh, FX6 that's rigged up to a, a pond UV, that's a 36 watt. Yeah. Uh, change the bulb every six months. Um, Mainly, I don't really run much in them. The only thing that I run in them, I don't run any carbon or anything uh, chemical, really. Yeah. I just run uh, bio home pads and floss, mate. Perfect. That's all I do. Yeah, it's all you need, isn't it? And all I'll do is, if if it's getting a bit murky, I won't even I won't even, I clean these twice a year. These filters. Yeah. I don't clean them any more than that. And all I do is take the top off and just replace the floss. Yeah. Just yeah. put them back in. I don't. I don't ever. FX is I'll clean them two, three times a year, mate. Yeah, yeah. I don't ever clean them more than that. I just do water changes. Then, but I'll do like 80% water changes. And yeah. Then, yeah, the other one is just, the other one's just in there, mate. Yeah. And I also put, um, just a tip, I put tape on the inlet. Right. Because once you put them down the, the back of your tank, yeah. after time you're trying to plumb them back in, you don't know which one's which. Right, yeah, see what you're saying, good idea, yeah. Yeah, so I just put, I just put tape, I always do it on the inlets, just so I know which one's which. Because yeah. I've done it before, and you plumb in, you turn it on, it's backwards. Yeah, and you know, yeah. Oh, yeah. It fires loads of stuff out of the pipes <laughs> and that. I oh, know, it messes your tank up for about an hour. No, no, yeah. no, it's a nightmare. Um, but yeah, the tank's running alright. I've probably had this. This one's probably been running eight, nine months. Yeah. Um, and then I've had the uh, the bigger one running about the same time, maybe a couple of months after. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, I just am running with food, mate. They get so much food. These fish. Oh yeah, yeah. A lot of people think that you know, if you look, it's overfeeding. But if you keep up with your water changes. Yeah, that's um, it. No, yeah, the dat noise guy from as well, look. Yeah, the data noise will go for, uh, for go for pretty much anything now, which is good. Something about feeding fish in there. Oh mate, it's yeah, the you, best, can't get, you can't get bored of it, can you? The best part yeah. of it is just yeah. just to see, and it's not that when you have when you have 
difficult fish to feed, yeah, and you get them feeding, yeah, that's right. or you get them onto dried foods. Like if you get that, some of these have started taking them. Uh, these little pellets I started on some. Um, yeah, you're onto a winner then. Yeah, I oh, mate, you started. I'm, I just put them in, and I thought about five of them started eating them. But they do it on. They usually do it on the drop if you uh, if you put them in. But yeah. But I had this this tank was mental mate. I had the amount of fish I had in this tank just growing them on. I mean that that what I've put in there would be gone within about two minutes, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um But yeah, it's uh it's just um topping them up now. But I always overfeed. I do it all the time. Yeah. It stops aggression. Um as long as you're keeping your water clean. It's when people over clean overfeed, especially if you've got people have that big old school gravel. Mm. And if you overfeed with it, you get in there, doesn't it? Yeah. stuck in it. Yeah, that's right. Bounces yeah. your nitrites. Yeah. So yeah, I always and any clean it well out, it comes to the top, doesn't it? Mate, yeah. I've never gravel that is. No. The, no I the, um, albino heckle, I dig massive pits in it when they breed it. Mm. Um, but apart from that, I don't touch it. I literally just do that. Algae that gets drawn on the front glass. That's yeah. it. I don't bother. I don't touch it apart from that. Well, you get the cl the clowns will be in it all day, mate. Oh mate, yeah. yeah. When you're to be honest, it's, 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 it's unusual. I had I had a group like you. Like, I had fifty in the front tank. Yeah. And it, it was just too hectic, mate. Yeah, like the, the front of the glass just looked alive all the yeah, time. Yeah, I know, I know. So I've kept. I've got about. There's about. I think there's about thirteen in here, which are all all big, but they're just dead shy now. Yeah. It's really weird, mate. I I split the group up. Um, and they're just really, really shy. They don't, they don't sort of bother with anything now. They come out when I turn the lights off. There's a couple of them there. Yeah. I was going to get rid of them, but they're that big. It takes them ages to get big, and I yeah. thought I don't want to get rid of them and then start again at some point with them. So. Oh mate, I regret getting rid of mine. I had some monsters. Yeah, mate. you had some beastie ones. Yeah, yeah. they were huge, mate. Yeah. They were like 15 years old, some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the longest fish I ever had was I, I got off a bloke who had it eight years. It's the clown loads, and I had it. I had it about another eight years. Um, I got it when I was when I first got my first that one tank. I was only about ten or twelve. Yeah. And um, it moved around three ounces with me this clown load. It was the longest lasting fish ever. That. Yeah. It was about eight inches. It was huge. Yeah, they're bulletproof. As long as you keep out the water changes, they're yeah, bulletproof, aren't yeah. they? It yeah, can't be, isn't it? Yeah, there's a more They're wicked, aren't they? So yeah. what, how big they get? You had them in shop, didn't you? Yeah, they got about three foot, mate. There's nice. one sticking his head out there. They're great, but they're pretty much blind, mate. So they just bang about trying to find food. Yeah. But it, it, as soon as they eat each other, they start fighting. Yeah. Um, I don't usually have issues with, with mores fighting, but these two in particular will, will have a right tear up, mate, if they're... Uh, probably two males, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're usually a bit more active, but I feed them about 11 o'clock at night, so they're probably not used to being fed at this time. Yeah. That, uh, the Asian arowana, the African arowana, sorry, he's usually flying about now and he smells food, but he's... Um, he's probably scared of the camera, mate. Yeah. yeah. Some, some fish don't like the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I say, this time of the day, no one's usually here. I'm, I'm usually working till I get back dead late, so it's, they're not used to, to people being in the house. Yeah, yeah. I also think when it's light outside, it, it, it sort of affects them when they come to feeding because they're used to just having sort of black around the tank and then. Mm. Yeah, they get into their own routine fish, mate. I found that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. But you can, they, I can come in in the day, just nip back, you know, sort of dog out and that, and he won't move. Though, I think, yeah, as soon as it hits nine, ten o'clock at night, yeah. every single fish is at the front of the glass. Because all the, there's about 30, 40 data noise they're all at the front of the glass, like, and it looks amazing. I did think that when you come into film, I thought, I don't know how they're going to react, to be fair, you know, during the day, but. Yeah, no, it'd be all right, mate, ain't they? Yeah, it's yeah. just tearing about. Yeah, not too bad. No, it's a lovely tank, mate. It's the centrepiece of the room, isn't it? Yeah, oh, mate, yeah, it fits in the room. And it, even though it's a big tank, it doesn't look daft, if you know what I mean. I thought, yeah. I've got a wall there, so I want to do something with it. Well, uh, yeah, you'd have nothing else there, otherwise, yeah, the chair Yeah, I used, to, I used to have like the fridge and stuff there, and yeah. it, the room looked a bit weird, so I just moved it around a bit. And it, I mean, I've, I've got mad into fish keeping again, so I just rotate it. But I, about every six months, I rotate all the fish around. I'll, have, I'll probably have something different in it next time you come, or if you do come back up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I have new stuff all the time in it, mate. It's, I grow them up, sell them to customers, I buy fish off people, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of work the tank around what fish I've got at the moment. and. Um, at the moment, I'm just growing the datanoids up in there, so hopefully I'm going to give it another six months or whatever. They should be all should be three, four inches, um, and I'm hoping that there'll be a really nice display in there. You don't see big groups in them either. No. You never see yeah, it because yeah. they're expensive, but obviously yeah. I, I import fish, mate. So yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, yeah, you got to work it your way. Yeah, you? of course, mate. Yeah, yeah. Should we get onto this little 
Yeah, of course, mate. Check yeah. here then, bud. What have yeah. we got going on there then? So, uh, these are just some, some pals. I'm actually a Fagus fry. Um, from, I had a massive breeding group that I just sold to uh, Bill Sitka Group. Okay. Um, he come and picked the group up. Uh, but these are just, uh, they used to breed about two, three times a week. So, I just pulled some, there's just some little fry, mate. I think there's mm. about 30 in there. Uh, I'll just grow them up and, and sell them on or take them back to the shop or. Um, but I just love growing little fish, mate. They're, they're, yeah, he's trying to pat it. Oh, mate, it's great, yeah. He's getting, you're getting feeding, but like yes. I said to you before, the, um, these guys, they're picky, mate. I've got some, I have some brown shrimp on the top there. Yeah, I see that, yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just some brown shrimp and some fingy, but it depends if, if you get a decent batch of it, it'll all sink, mate. But this is frozen, baby, brown shrimp, which you have to take, but you won't take any prepared, you won't take any prepared foods at all. No. Like flake, uh, like fry flake, maybe won't touch it at all. I'll only eat this. Mm. Um, whereas the Central American fry that are in the other tank, I've not even touched them yet, mate. They're just grazed and keep them. Yeah, it's e easy to do, isn't it? These are yeah, a bit, yeah, bit more yeah. tricky, aren't they? Yeah, it's just, um, it's just getting them going. So yeah. I used to just leave them in the tank and then obviously eventually just get eaten and stuff. But I just thought, I'll just pull this group and, uh, and, and let them go. But I used to get them to a fair size in the tank. But again, you've got the amount of fish in the tank, mate, you just can't get yeah, food yeah, down to yeah. it. And they end up getting nicked in that, don't they? Yeah, and then at night, mate, when all the fish come out, it starts it, mate. Yeah, over, in the so. mornings, we'll yeah, 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 oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. To yeah. be fair, the discus in, the, in that six foot, mate, they keep their fry for probably two, three weeks, and, it, and none of them get eaten. Yeah. Uh, they're both really good parents. I, I, I was going to pull them and, and breed them, but, mate, I haven't got time. No, no, that's fair enough, mate. It's, uh, I, can, I can import them. And it's only natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Should we go into the um, yeah, young one, then? Yeah, He's yeah. got a lovely tank in here as well. Check this out. Look at this thing. You pull them colours? Yeah, of course, Cheers, man. Take the glare off a bit, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Good man. Wow, that's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. So I thought uh, I had a couple of designs in, in mind for it, and I've got a chameleon, and uh, I used to just put him on the woodwork at the top of the tank. Yeah. I just let him move to the The pothos is, is growing, but not as quick as I thought it would, but I just put it in there for effect really but yeah it's uh, six by three by two this uh, just over two foot it's about 26 inch high so the tank dimensions are about 1200 uh something's about 200 liters yeah big big system isn't it yeah 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 it's, I, wanted, I wanted a three foot depth for the rays mate really I, I, yeah. I always wanted i always wanted rays and i thought you know what i'm gonna um i'm gonna design a tank round that was what i was basing it off so yeah then the other fish in there are just uh sort of clean up and then some others that i collected uh, and that's a nice, that's a cross back Arowana. Who's he from? Is that from uh, Planet Arowana? Yeah. yeah, David Planet Arowana that is, yeah. But he's uh, he's dead funny. He'll eat one one day, he'll eat prawns and he won't eat them. Yeah, then one day he'll try mussels, but he loves uh, I give him feed him dubia roaches. Yeah. Mate, he ham his insects. Yeah. But oh, they're, they're a tricky fish, mate. Yeah. My, my ones used to go, oh, I'm not going to eat that tonight. Yeah, he won't eat yeah. any pellets, mate. He'll, he won't even entertain it. He'll literally just he'll smash them and then just spit them all out. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's a, he's a great fish, mate. He, the only problem is he, he tears through the new fish when I put them in. Yeah. I've got a, gold, I've got a golden cobra snakehead and he, he goes for him every now and again. And he's then, he's so. a tank boss, isn't he? Like, yeah, that's what happens. Yeah. They're, they're, they've got so much attitude, did not they? They they know what's about yeah. them, mate. The only thing that put him in his place is I had a, I had a massive female, Oscar mate. Yeah. Uh, like a proper... It wasn't, it wasn't the biggest, but it was like chunk-wise. It was thick, mate. Yeah. And uh, that used to roll the tank, mate. And I, in the end, I just, it started going for the true parrot and I just whipped it out a few weeks ago. And then the tank, all the fish come out a lot more now. Um, yeah. But yeah, it wouldn't mess with the, with the Oscar, it's the only one. That's a nice fish, that's a three parrot now. Yeah, it's beauty, isn't it? Yeah, it's from Pair Aquatics, I've had it for about a year and a half now. It's a lump, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's belting, mate. It's a fantastic fish. But yeah, all the fish going all right, to be fair. They're, um, you'll get a little tear up. Every now and again, the yellow arm will tear through a few of them, or you'll get one of the cichlids that'll go on a little bit of a boot off or whatever, but... Generally, they're all right. The two stingrays get on like an house on fire. Yeah. I'm hoping that he, he's he's nearly fully rolled his claspers now, so. Mm. The males are one on the right, the females are one on the left. Yeah. 
Yeah, you should get some pops out of him, mate, eventually. Yeah, she grabbed him the other day, to be fair, which I thought was a bit weird. She was nipping the back of him and that, which she's never done. But um, as soon as I put him in, she was miles happier. She was on her own for quite a bit, and I, I put that one in, and instantly, mate, it's like a different fish. Yeah, it's yeah. Like dead happy that there's another one in there. Yeah, they're, they're really interactive, aren't they? they? They've got such a personality they raise, man. Oh, mate, yeah, when I'm cleaning and that, I can hand feed him halfway yeah. through a water change, mate, or touch him, or... Yeah. Uh, they're fantastic fish, but I've heard her since she was like a proper pup. I got the mail off uh, Richard Hardwick. Uh, yeah. About, about a year ago, he, he's put on some size since I've got him. Nice oh, quality, man. And what, um, what some system was it? Do you want, do you want, can we yeah, have a look? of course, mate, yeah. So we've got... Um, Oh, you got the moving bed, didn't you? Yeah, so I, I was doing it with um, I was doing it with air pumps, and it just it weren't giving me the, the designed effect, mate, that I wanted it to do. So yeah, I um, I put a wave maker in, and it done half shift it, mate. It's what you want. Oh yeah, it's nice, man. Yeah. So it drops down into the first chamber. Yeah. That's uh, that's all crushed, hot, uh, crushed oyster shell to keep the GH uh, the and the pH up stable. Yeah. Drops into the second one. It's just got a standard floss. It's got like three sponges, it's full of cherry shrimp. This yeah, I see them, yeah. I, wax, I had a little tank in the kitchen and I, I just threw some in because they want to get rid of them. And yeah. they breathe like mad in there, mate. Yeah, they're probably eating all this poo in yeah, there, of course, mate. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, that's that's nearly 25 metres of K1 media. Yeah. It looked a bit white because I threw some more in the other day. Yeah. Um, but I can always tell, I was finding out when, before I had the crust oyster shell. That's, see it's got that like brown colour. Yeah. As soon as the pH would swing, it would go bleach white, mate. Right, oh, yeah. Like all the bacteria would die and it would go from that colour to like bleach white and it's and that's what I knew needed to talk the, the water out. Yeah. Because I'll be doing water changes keeping up with it, but I notice if I, if I stop the water changes a bit, it would drop that much, it would just, all the bacteria would die, mate, mm. it just go bleach white, so. Scary, man. Oh, mate, yeah, yeah, cool. yeah, it's, you panic, especially when you've got fish of this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, mate. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it is scary, you don't want to, you don't want to sort of, you want to look after him, mate. Yeah. But like I say to all my customers, you don't keep fish, you keep water, mate, so. Ah, oh, that's right, that's right. I had crust, that, that's a bag of um, crust oysters, uh, coral, um, okay. which I thought would do it, but it, it's just not strong enough, mate. My tap water's just horrendous, so. Uh, yeah, that's it's, just, it's bizarre though, isn't it? Like, how much it changes, mate. Right? Oh, mate, it's absolutely mad, mate. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nuts. But yeah, I just got some, uh, they're just some baskets of alpha grog. I could probably put more in, but the water quality is that good mate I, yeah. don't, I don't really need to no that's it um and then yeah it just goes into the uh, into the return chamber mate i've just got a i've just got a pot another 300 watt heater in just for winter yeah i've got a thousand uh a thousand watt heater in it but it's it was doing all right but it was a couple of degrees cooler than i wanted it so i just bang that in it's just sort it out yeah tmc um return pump that goes up into um sorry it's a bit of a mess under here but that's right goes up into the uh UV again, another pond UV. Yeah. And then I had a, a watermelon plaque and it chewed that water that much that there was so much particles. Yeah, it effects. Effects on it. And that's just got floss in it, mate. Yeah, yeah. It's got nothing else but floss. It in. just buffs the water, doesn't it? Yeah, it just keeps it just keeps it clear. Because yeah. the sumps are good, but the sheer volume of water getting pushed, it just weren't taking it out. Yeah. And I was getting sick of it, so I thought I'm just gonna like, draw it into it, wouldn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. mate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um no, it's a good setup, man. It look, mate, it's it's working, isn't it? Yeah, look of course at it, it's, man. Yeah. Yeah, got the flag tail, got the two Florida Guard there from Wharf Aquatics. They are the best cleanup crews you've got Rays. The guy, yeah. yeah. I've never kept them. I've oh, never mate, kept, I, want, keep, I want to. So if you keep them with Rays, they eat anything. So yeah. you know when you try new fish, uh, new food for your Rays? Yeah. So if I try like pieces of fish and they don't eat them, they will, they will just eat anything, mate. So it's good really, to know, I man. tried scallops on them the other day, didn't eat them. The, the Florida Guard just ate them. If I try like new bits of fish, if I try um, like tilapia or something, and you don't eat it, the Florida guy just eat it, mate. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of the geos that have got smaller mouths and they can't tackle a bigger food, but uh, the guy will just nail it, mate. They're just not bothered. Um, and that's the fire reel as well. He'll, he'll eat anything that's uh, anything that's going. Yeah, he's a nice size now, isn't he? Yeah, he's about. He's usually swimming at the front. Like I said, they're not used to people being around this time of the day. So yeah, well, yeah. At night he's flying about, mate. He's. Uh, He's not bothered. He's not bothered by anyone. I'll well, say so you got a couple of bits of Nubis as well. This one's actually flower, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just do you know what it is every now and again. I'll just do that. But that that piece of wood. So I've just really done that scape. So I had the original piece of wood, and I, there was something missing. I thought I'd like it, but it's just two fingers. So I, I had a load of spiderwood from the six foot. Yeah. And uh, I just cable tied it on, mate. And it looks 
I mean, it looks the part. Yeah, it looks well nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I gives just it. Came, I just came tight to your nubius on, mate. Yeah, gives it a bit of. Well, the green just takes your eye off. Yeah, things, yeah, yeah. It? Just some little pops of green just just help out with uh, with the sort of uh, drawing your eyes towards the tank as well. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely spot. Yeah, nice one, mate. But yeah, I've got so there's four Sven Archer Fagus, there's three Wine Miller Eye, uh, there's an ornate Birch just coming through in the back there, uh, there's a uh, Canbelli uh, Datanoid, uh, uh, New Guinea Datanoid, and then I've got a Northern Tide Datanoid at the back, uh, Flagtail Pugtalotus, that is just a massive gentle giant mate. Yeah, it's a beast, isn't it? It's it's old mate. I think it's about ten years old that fish. I thought he'd get bigger, but I think he's stunted a bit in the original tank he was in before right. I bought him. He's put about three inches on with me, but he should be miles bigger by that uh, by now, so Yeah, it's lovely, man. Right? Beautiful got, tail. The uh, golden nugget pleco at the back mate is that is an absolute survivor that he's yeah. been in there since the day dot mate with all the big fish. He's doing alright, he? I don't yeah. get bothered mate, he comes yeah. flying out with food and that, he doesn't get bothered. No, no. Um, and then behind, you probably can't see, but behind that pump there, the top right, there's a golden cobra snake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He hides because the arrow on it gives him grief. Yeah. Oh, at least he's got somewhere to chill out up there, isn't he? Yeah, I just try and, that's why I'm trying to keep the roots and stuff in, because if you need something to get away, you, you can just pump behind there and he leaves him alone then. Yeah. But yeah, water changes, if I can do them, I'll do them sometimes, two, three times a week on this tank if I can, mate, just yeah. to try and, just to try and keep it, um, Nice and clean for the fish, you, mate. You've got to eat the preds, man. Like, oh, <coughs> when you're feeding a lot as well, they eat a lot of food, don't they? Yeah, of course, mate. The amount of, the amount of food that I feed them, mate, is, is, um, is heavy, mate. I'll give them, they'll, they'll get like half a measuring drug full of food and that, mate. Pellets. Yeah. Pellets, pro. I'm feeding it mainly for the prawns. I feed, use, I feed a couple of bits of mussels, but if they smash them up too much, it makes your water horrible. Yeah. Um, I don't feed like lance fish and stuff anymore, like frozen fish, it just yeah. makes your water horrible. Oh, 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 the no, top, the top here, and it then the next day it's all slight, slime, yeah, it's isn't horrible, it? Man. Yeah, I oh, know, I know. I've done it, you go to clean a tank, I stay, it gets in your arms and that. Yeah, think, no, no, yeah. Hands, so. It's like scummy, isn't it, the water? Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Yeah. So what I try and do is I, ma I mainly I mainly feed uh, like prawns and blood, not clean frozen foods. Yeah. And, then, and then I'll do um, once or twice a week I'll do with pellets obviously to get a sort of full diet. Mm. Um, so I like feed frozen all the time, but they're not getting all the vitamins and minerals that they need sometimes if you're just doing a certain you know certain type of frozen food. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's um, it's a cracking looking tank, mate. It is, mate. Like, it is, yeah. I like it, mate. Yeah. I love all this up here as well, man. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's really effective, yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just a little bit different than, than what you usually see as well. Get all the mate, you wanna see how many people walk past my window and Yeah, and looking at yeah, yeah, yeah. get all the school kids and that. I'll bet yeah. you do, yeah. I get people knocking on asking if they can come in and have a look. <laughs> but, Keep um, the curtains closed, mate. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, the, like I said, the black diamonds they're a, they're a breeding pair then, mate, so I'm, they're a sort of breeding project then, but I start getting some more quality black diamonds into the UK, so yeah. you know, the males from Richard Harvey, which is as everyone knows, mate, he's a, he's a top. Yeah, the best breeder. rise in the UK, though. Yeah, yeah, and then the, the female from Pierce, so the, the from two two decent suppliers. Um, and I just want some good quality ones, because it's so important now, they're, they're very dear, mate, for yeah. what they are. Um, now, yeah, the other bits in there, just what I collect along the way. I, I swap and change fish all the time, but these guys have been in for a while. I'll get some food from them, mate. Can we yeah, do it, do it, mate, yeah, Sam. And you might be uh, standing at yourself then, do you spud, yeah? No, I, I can't make anything, mate. You've been well wonky, can't I? <laughs> I got someone in to do it, yeah. It's um, like a family friend. Yeah, it looks good, mate. Yeah, I painted it myself. That's the only thing that I have done. <laughs> but the doors are, um, you just sit them back on. They're like, a, they're like an angles. You just sit them back in. Yeah. Um, the only thing that does me in a bit is it's hot. But... Yeah, look at that. Quality man, look at that yeah. ray. Oh man, I'm missing my fish, man. Yeah, mate, they're like Hoover's and two things. Yeah, they, eat, they, they will eat every single one of them prawns, mate. The fire was out now, wasn't it? Yeah, he absolutely loves prawns. He looks like he's got tight, looks like he's swallowed tyres after a bit. He gets like big bumps all yeah, yeah. the body eats that much. Like the Michelin man. Yeah. yeah. I'm really getting to gas there. It's just like, it just chills you out, doesn't it? Oh, mate, yeah. I, I, I work a lot and it, I come home 
and as much as um, as much as it's hard work keeping them clean, mate, I absolutely love the hobby. Yeah. It's great. If I ever get kids who come into my shop who get into it, I always I always try and help them out on a bit of discount and stuff because it's seeing younger people getting into the hobby. It's nice, isn't it? It's like I, I've you know said to you before, mate. I've, I've done sort of five six months sober now, and it's my my days off are spent in fish shop, mate. Yeah. Even I, I see my customers in other shops and they're like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, mate, I just love the hobby. Yeah, and I it keeps you off the beer, doesn't yeah, it? Oh, yeah, mate, yeah. And I, I'll, I'll wake up and I'll go, right, where are we going to? I'll go Yorkshire, you know. I'll, I'll drive around five shops in Yorkshire or I'll go so I was up in the North East the other day having a look at a couple of shops. Yeah. And uh, I just say to the missus, I'm, I'm just going out for the day and she's like, all right, sound, I've got three shops on. And then, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see new stuff and pick new stuff up and, yeah. All the knowledge that you build up, man, it's a, it's a fantastic hobby to get into. That's it, mate, and there's so many nice people in the hobby. Do you know oh, what I mean? mate, yeah, of course, mate. Yeah, everyone, everyone who you get chatting to, it's very rare you'll come across someone that you don't get on with in the hobby, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, we've got the same interest, haven't you? Yeah, of course, mate, yeah, yeah. And it's people, people appreciate your fish, mate. It's, it's sort of sort of way of expressing yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Of what you keep and stuff like that. You start getting into the deer and stuff like the Asian arowanas and the rays and stuff, you know, you, you've got to be banged on with your water quality, yeah. mate. Oh, yeah, you don't want anything going wrong, man. Right? Yeah, of course, mate, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's lovely, mate. You should be proud, mate. You should be proud of the shop, proud of all your tanks, mate. Honestly, it's wicked, yeah, mate. Cheers, mate. Well, mate, I think we're ending it off. Yeah, lovely Covered all the bases, mate, aren't we? Yeah. Well, thanks for having me over. Oh, no worries, mate. Any yeah. time. Quality, mate. Yeah. Right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. Ding the notification bell and keep it real everyone.